I am uh, Janet Sedeme, and I'm the head of the Rural Economy Division in the Department of uh, Rural Economy and Agriculture at the African Union Commission based in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. I think there's been quite a lot of studies uh, that have been done over the past decade or so, trying to look at the linkages between agricultural commercialization and its impact on how it could reduce poverty and also increase food and nutrition security. The empirical evidence out there is um, it's not very clear, but there is some kind of limited linkages between those, but more of a linkage looking at agricultural commercialization in terms of increase in household income, in terms of increase in the diversity of the caloric intake of the, of the population, and then also in terms of uh, increase in food and nutrition security. So there's some empirical evidence there, but it's very small, it's very limited, but more broadly in terms of how the, um, the, the status of the household actually increases with agricultural commercialization. For us at the African Union Commission, we have the Comprehensive Africa Agricultural Development Program. And this is a bigger continental policy approach through which we're beginning to address most of the challenges impacting on our youth and on our women. Of course, for the women, we know about the triple burden of production, of productivity, and also of um, household uh, chores. So within the broader um, CADEP framework, we are beginning to try to address these issues and these challenges. So definitely, the, the policies that we're developing through the CADEP itself will begin to address these challenges and ensure that, for example, the youth can also have access now to land, to the necessary skills, uh, that are required and also the incentivization for them to be interested in agriculture and how this is also going to be impacting on diminishing the issues of migration and for the women also addressing the the burdens that they have ensuring they can also have access to land and tenure security and also increasing their cultural production and access to finances of course I think the excitement about the agricultural policy research in Africa is that it's beginning to look at different pathways to commercialization. And there are quite a number of varied pathways over there, whether you're looking at um, issues of outgrowth farming, or you're looking at plantations, or you're looking at estate farming. And yet in Africa, we're looking at how can we increase agricultural production. So we really need to look at the different models and which ones we think would bring us the quick results that we're looking for. So for me, that's what I find very exciting about the research being undertaken through APRA, that it's going to be able to come up with some strong evidence-based research that will provide us with the most suitable pathway to achieving agricultural production and transformation.